Welcome to Storium, the online storytelling game. By combining the freedom of writing with the fun of gameplay, Storium lets you and your friends create and tell any story you can imagine together. Every Storium game starts with a world. It's the imaginary setting where your story takes place. Storium comes with all kinds of worlds that you can choose from and customize. And if you don't see something you like, you can create your own. Worlds are made up of story cards. Think of them as virtual playing cards that give you ideas for characters, places, and situations that make sense for your story. They're the key to playing Storium, so you'll hear a lot about them in this video. Storium games play out as a series of scenes, just like in a movie or a book. The player who begins the game is called the narrator. Their role is to start each scene and give the other players challenges to overcome. The other players in the game each control their own character in the story. Their role is to overcome the narrator's challenges in fun and interesting ways. When starting a new scene, the narrator creates challenges by playing their own cards. Challenges come in two forms. Character cards represent people who confront the players or want something from them, and obstacle cards represent anything else that gets in the player's way. Every challenge has a certain number of points. This is the number of cards that players need to play to overcome the challenge. More points means a tougher challenge. Once the narrator has played their cards, they write a brief description of the situation, and the stage is set. Now that the scene has started, the other players each make one or more moves. This means playing their own cards to show how their characters overcome the narrator's challenges. Players get these cards when they create their characters, and they earn new ones in the course of play. The kind of card you play determines how things turn out in the story. Strength and weakness cards represent the abilities or shortcomings that set your character apart. You start with three of each, plus some cards that are wild, meaning that you can write them when you need them. Playing these cards helps overcome the scene's challenges, but it also earns you the chance to write the outcome of those challenges. Play enough strength cards on a challenge, and you can write about how it worked out in your favor. Play enough weaknesses, and you still get to narrate the outcome, but there will usually be some sort of interesting complication or setback to deal with. Players have other cards, too. Subplots describe a character's motivation, the thing that really drives them. Assets are valuable things or knowledge that gives players an edge. And goals are tasks or objectives that players can choose to take on for a reward. You can play these cards to help overcome challenges, but they won't earn you the right to narrate the outcome like strengths and weaknesses do. Once a player has played their cards, they write a short description of their character's actions, and their move is finished. So there you have it. By creating scenes, making moves, and playing cards, Storium helps players work together to tell a story, one that's fun, interesting, and always moving forward.